Hi guys, good to see you again. Welcome back to the channel. Well, strange old day today. It's Wednesday the 4th, day before lockdown 2 kicks in, obviously. So I thought I'd better jump in the van and make the most of the last day's travel. So I've left the new forest behind and I've come over to Wiltshire to Sevenack Forest. Hopefully for last minute, or last opportunity for any autumn colour, really. Hopefully I'll be able to keep going in the new forest. It's within walking distance, so... Uh, that's the plan anyway, but we'll see how the land lies with this lockdown. But uh, yeah, so last opportunity to get some autumn colour, really. So I've come over to Sevenac. There's a lovely Grand Avenue in here, or Beach Avenue. So fingers crossed there's still some colour. As you can see, it's bright sunny day, so not great for woodland photography. I'm just following a deer track at the minute because I've come off the main drive because uh, obviously this sunshine's brought out quite a few walkers and I can't blame them. Beautiful day for a forest walk, but yeah, so I'm just following this deer track at the minute. I'm heading for one of the named oaks, hopefully. Hopefully gonna have some more luck or better luck than I had last time I was here. I came specifically for the named oaks and didn't do my research properly, so I never found some, some, some of the nice, nicer ones. So I've come to a different area of the forest today. So fingers crossed we're gonna bump into one in a minute. So yeah, named oak first, and then hopefully the Grand Avenue's still got some color in it because we've had quite a lot of strong winds last sort of week, 10 days, and it has stripped quite a few, few leaves off the trees, but there's still some nice color here. So fingers crossed the Beach Avenue's still looking nice and we can get a nice composition. So let's go and see what we can find. Well, I followed my nose along that deer track and it brought me out to a lovely forest drive and we've got five or six beech trees along this drive and it's lovely and side lit. The sun's to my left, so we've got some lovely shadows and some lovely high tone areas coming, making their way across the drive, which is making a lovely frame. I shot it on the 16 to 35 at first, uh, at 35 mil, because there's quite a few gaps in the canopy, so there's obviously a lot of blue sky coming through. So I went to 35 mil in landscape orientation, just to eliminate most of the blue sky. Um, had the variable polarizer on, so I've really brought some lovely depth in the color out, and it worked really well at 35 mil. But then I thought I'll get the 70 to 200 out and just zoom in a bit. So I was zoomed into about 120 mil, just just to really just to really emphasize the tunnel, you know, the tunnel effect to lead your eye off to those, there's three beech trees at the end of the, the drive that are really nicely well lit. So they draw your eye down the, down the composition. So really nice. Say I've, I've had the variable polarizer on, on both the 16 to 35 and the 70 to 200. I'm shooting at F10. This was a 60th of a second. I think on the 35 mil, it was a hundredth of a second. So, uh, really pleased i'm followed I'm, I'm pleased i followed my nose along that deer track and it brought me out here still not found an oak but uh, that's an that's the next challenge i think so anyway i'll pop a couple of images up now guys and i hope you like them
Well, as you've just seen, I managed to find white road oak. Tremendous looking oak, but the conditions are just so against me at the minute. I walked round and round it trying to look for a composition to try and work with the light. But uh, just couldn't escape the blue skies or anything. But uh, So I called it a day. <laughs> and uh, I have just hot-footed over to another oak called Cathedral Oak. And uh, the girth on that is absolutely ginormous. It's by far the biggest oak tree I've ever seen. But it's surrounded by chain-link fence. It's right on the edge of the plantation. So uh, there's buildings behind it. Again, a nice foggy, misty morning. You might be able to make a nice composition of it. But uh, So <laughs> that's two oaks found. I did take a couple of frames of white road oak so uh, but i'll just put them up just to show you really they're uh, nothing to write home about but i'm going to pop them up now guys and i'm going to make my way over to grand avenue see if we can get some some nice light through the beach avenue there through the beach trees because we are losing the light it's about half past two now so before long the light will be going so i'm going to hot foot it over there and i'll pop the images up now of white road oak Well, what a shame. I'm just making my way over to Grand Avenue and I've come across Saddle Oak, or Saddle Oak 2, and what a shame. Obviously, uh, I don't know, in the last year, perhaps year or two, I'm not sure. If any of you guys know, you'll have to let me know, but this had a lovely limb that came out to the side, obviously, hence the name Saddle Oak. But uh, obviously the weather's got the better of it, so great shame that, but... Uh, <clears throat> Never mind, at least I found it. <laughs> but uh, anyway, let's make our way to Grand Avenue. Well, we've made it onto Grand Avenue and uh, I did get a little bit worried because on the walk over here, the sun's kept going behind the clouds like it has done now. But I think with a bit of waiting, should get some nice light. In fact, look at that light now. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but wow, right at the end there. I'm behind me now. <laughs> There's light both ends of the Grand Avenue, but the taller beech trees are towards the other end, so that's where I'm heading for. But uh, also, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who's bought me a coffee after Sunday's video. I can't thank you enough. And uh, the Scotland trip fund is well and truly underway now. I think we're at about 18% total so so uh definitely be going to scotland although not in december now obviously i scheduled that video before it came out before we learnt about the uh the lockdown on saturday so all being well either be in december or uh, or in january depending on how lockdown goes but yeah thanks ever so much guys for buying me a coffee really appreciate it right we're nearly there <laughs> Well, so as soon as I got here, there were some cars parked here and they've just moved. So I've quickly got set up and the sun has, oh, the light is tremendous. I'm just firing away here. Now what I've done, I'm gonna do a bit of video on the camera as well because I've got an overhanging branch here and the leaves on the tips of the branch are catching the light. And when I use the variable polarizer, it's really emphasizing those leaves. So I'm just gonna try and film that process now just to show you. Let's have a look. Right, so I'm, I'm filming on this camera now, so I'm just going to turn, turn the polarizer, and you can see that branch disappear into the blue sky. And then if I keep turning, it really does bring that branch out into that into that nice shaded area. And then what I've done, I'll just stop recording on that. And what I've done, I've done. I'm going to bracket this so I've focused 
on those those leaves in the foreground here in the upper foreground and then I focused halfway down my composition and then I'll what I'll do is I'll just blend them leaves into the 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 main frame and uh, fingers crossed it should look nice the colors are lovely the leaves are I mean they've lost a lot of leaves now in that wind I thought they might have done and they are a bit a bit too brown but still getting some lovely colors and with that polarizer it's just eliminating the blue sky so uh, anyway here comes the light again so I'm gonna have another go put that back onto there and let's have another go super frame chuffed I've, uh, I've made it over here <laughs> Well, the light stayed really good, so I've just filled my boots, loads of different angles, put the 70 to 200 on, got some nice tight, tight frames, so uh, some absolutely fantastic light, as you've just seen. I'm just heading back a bit now, the way I've come, because uh, quite a lot more leaf this side of the, the Grand Avenue, plus the sun's at a little bit of a different angle, I guess, so uh, I'm just going to try and capture some frames from here. Well that's it now, the sunset over the horizon behind the forest, so that glorious light has finished, but that was certainly a mad half hour, three quarts, making the most of that great light, but uh, really chuffed with them frames anyway, it was uh, just what I'd hoped for, so so brilliant. Good way to end the day really, so chuffed that I made the decision to come over to Sevenac. so uh, yeah, lockdown wise, I say I can walk into the forest, so hopefully I'll still be able to make a few videos in the forest, but uh, there might be one or two editing videos from the office but we'll see see how see how the lockdown goes but i uh, hope you guys are all all right through lockdown anyway and uh, yeah jobs are good in drop us a comment below guys it's always great to hear from you and i'll get back to you as soon as i can let me know what you're up to and uh, if you could remember to hit the like button that'd be much appreciated best way to help the channel by giving it a like giving the video a like and uh, subscribe if you haven't and yeah thanks again to the guys for buying me a coffee Really appreciate that. Scotland trip is well and truly on the way now. Obviously probably in December now, but anyway. Good things come to those who wait. So uh, yeah, brilliant. Thanks guys, really appreciate all your support. And uh, brilliant. Jobs are good and thanks ever so much for watching guys. Take care, catch up soon. <laughs>